Welcome to another MakeMoreNoise.org screencast. Um, I've been reading around on the forums recently and I've noticed a lot of people asking how to install plugins. Um, so I'm going to work on the assumption that this is for plugins that don't come with installers. Um, and also on our website this month we've added a list of free AU plugins you can use in Logic. So this is a Killing Two Birds with One Stone screencast. Uh, we're on Tal Audio Line's website. And we're looking at a plugin called Tal Dub 2, which is a, a dub style delay. So the first thing we're going to do is download the component, uh, which is the audio unit, which is what we need for working with Logic Pro. Uh, so we're going to click. And hopefully we should have brought up our downloads window, which is actually sitting over on my other screen. So let me just move that back there so you can see what's happened. Uh, we've got the Tal Dub 2 component. Uh, you can tell it's a component because it looks like a little Lego block, uh, as we call them in England. Um, and it should have put that download in our downloads folder, which will be here, downloads. So if we click and expand that, you see you've got an option to open in Finder. So we'll bring that up in the Finder window, and there's our Tal Dub 2 component. Now, in the downloads folder, Logic won't find it, it won't be recognised by Logic, and it won't be there next time you want to use Logic. So I'm just going to quit Safari, now i finished downloading, and we'll focus on putting this in the right place. So Tal Dub 2 component and we grab it and highlight it and drag it over to our hard drive which is our system drive and hold the hard drive expands and if you come down here you can see the third option in my list is library might be a bit more longer down the list in yours depending on what else you've got installed uh, hold it over library library expands and then we've got a very long list of stuff now this is basically the core workings of the Apple OS and for components or AUs, uh, they go in audio. And then inside the audio window, there's another folder called plugins. Hold it over plugins to open that. And then you can see a folder called components, which we're holding it over again. And now if you look here, you can see this is all the plugins I've got for Logic. Uh, I'm lucky enough to have most of the cool ones. So once we've got the Tal Dub 2 component, we're holding it over the components folder and we just let go. Now. If we go up our list, which is in alphabetical order, we should see we've got Tal Dub 2 Component. Now that's one of the two places you can install audio units. Um, if you install an audio unit in the correct places, it's recognised by any programme that can use them, so GarageBand or Logic or anything else that's audio unit compatible. The other place they can go for an install is your home folder, which in my case is that one, James Muir. And again, you can see I've got another library here. Audio again plugins again, components again. Now as you can see in this folder I don't have anything myself because I prefer to put mine in the root folder which means it's accessible to all users if you've got a multi-login uh, style setup. So just once more through that path. Hard drive, library, audio, plugins, components. And there we go, Tal Dub 2 components. So now let's launch Logic and see if that's there. we've already got Logic open so I'm just going to have to quit that and relaunch. Uh, Logic has an AU scanner which looks at the audio units that you've installed and makes sure that they work okay before it lets you use them with Logic. So if you put a new audio unit in you need to close Logic down and relaunch it and then it will scan the new plugin you've installed, make sure it's suitable, it's up to the task and then you can see scanning audio units. Uh, I've got a nice fast Mac so it doesn't take very long and we're into our Logic session so Let's just create a new session. Empty project will do for this. Uh, audio track, we'll have a stereo one. Create. Uh, let's just grab a drum loop or something out of my loops library. Uh, all drums. This might take a second because, again, I've got quite a lot of samples on my system. The little spinning beach ball. It just shows it's working away. Okay, and we've um, got a 16 beat long. Let's. That's quite effective, so that's not actually going to show this plugin at its best. Let's have a little look down here. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, we're just going to loop that out, make it four bars long so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, now if we go to our inserts here, audio units, Tal, Tal Dub 2, stereo. And there is our new plugin.
and that's how to install an audio unit plugin that doesn't come with an installer package. Thank you for watching another MakeMoreNoise.org screencast. Thank <laughs> you.